It is the 2nd of December right now, and the 2nd of December has very special meaning, and we're going to tell you all about it right now because Professor Jeff Stein is joining us right now from Waterloo. Hello, Professor Stein. How are you? I am well, Lou. It is good to hear your voice, sir. Yeah, great to see you. But the Iowa Almanac uh, is something that we uh, visit with time and time again. And you have special things that have happened in the state of Iowa that you highlight each and every day. And this one here today, Professor, I have to tell you, is one people will talk about. If you didn't know about this, you are going to be surprised, right? Oh, absolutely right. And it has to do with Iowa State University and research there. And let me give you a little spoiler alert. Were it not for the Iowa State folks, there might not have been an atomic bomb. Well, here's the story. Wow. Shortly after the Japanese <laughs> attack on Pearl Harbor, that was, of course, December 7th, 1941, the head of physical chemistry at Iowa State College, as it was known, his name was Professor Frank Spedding, well, he was quietly recruited by the federal government for a war-related project. He traveled to meetings in Chicago and elsewhere, and then Spedding came back to Ames and convinced his colleagues that his portion of the research on this should be done right there in his own lab on the Ames campus. Iowa State President Charles Friley gave his permission, even though the details for the project were top secret and President Friley himself did not have proper security clearance at the time. Professor Spedding had expertise in spectroscopy and separation of rare earth elements. And that was important because, you see, he was now part of the Manhattan Project, which led to development of the atomic bomb. Spedding and his team in Ames, including chemist Harley Wilhelm, were tasked with the job, Lou, of transforming bulk uranium ore into highly purified uranium metal. And by February of 1942, that's only two months after the U.S. entered World War II, a team was up and running in Ames. And that is, uh, that's hard to believe that the Manhattan Project, the roots, are, are right up the road here in Ames, Iowa. How many people do that? How many, and I know a lot of people that are watching now have heard of the Manhattan Project, but uh, you know, obviously the team in Ames worked very quickly for obvious reasons because they want to gain a wartime advantage. That's right. And remember, we said February, the lab was up and running right. well, by September of that year. That's only seven months by my math. They had their first breakthrough. Wow. Creation of small blocks of pure uranium metal. They were the first ones ever manufactured on the planet. And on this date, December 2nd, 1942, and again, just less than a year after Pearl Harbor, Professor Spedding and a group of 40 scientists, including the noted physicist Enrico Fermi, watched a test of the Iowa State discovery at the University of Chicago. Workers there converted an old squash court into a mini reactor, wow. of all things. So the material was developed in Ames, and that material was the key component leading to a reaction and production of nuclear energy. That, you see, would later be channeled into development of the most destructive bomb ever created. Now, normally when research is done like this, uh, there are papers that are published. There's a, a lot of hoopla surrounding it. But obviously, yeah. uh, you know, with what was going on, they kept, that, okay, they kept that on the down low, didn't they? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. To the point that, to your earlier point, many people watching us today on Local 5 have never heard this story. The work after that date in mm -hmm. December of 1942, it continued secretly. And then, as we know, on August 6, 1945, the first atomic bomb was dropped from a plane piloted by, get this, a former Iowan. And the work of the Ames Project then became known, but not as widely known as it might be today. The Manhattan Project's first breakthrough, converting theory to actual practice, it was made possible, Lou, because of research done at Iowa State, and it was successfully tested for the first time on this date in 1942. That's 80 years ago today. Wow. That is absolutely incredible for those people that are, are history buffs and they, and they like to learn everything about what has gone on. Uh, how many people now know about the Manhattan Project and how the research done right up in Ames, Iowa? How about that? 